Hi, I'm Shan, and this is Life with Shan. It's time for the final weekly reading recap for the month of January. I am about a month behind on my recap videos. Kelly, I am about a month behind on posting my weekly recap videos, so I think I'm going to start doubling up for some of the week. So this one, for the last one of January, is my third and fourth week of January reading recap. But right before I went to film this, I got some really cool book mail in the mail, so I'm going to share that with you guys. First one is from Bloom Books. They typically do romance books. They're with source books. And it is a finished copy of Things We Hide from the Light. And I'm very excited for this. I did buy my own copy of it previously. Oh, it came with a little bookmark. I did pre-order this book, so now I have two copies. And I'm thinking of maybe doing a giveaway on my bookstagram. So if you're watching this, keep an eye on my bookstagram to see if I've posted the giveaway for it. After the first package of Things We Hide from the Light is this pretty cool book. I know what it is, and I'm so excited for you guys to find out what it is. It is Therapy and Other drugs by Christina Brown and the most exciting part for this for me at least is that Christina Brown asked me to read a bit of it and then review it before it was published so on the back it has my name because I left a little blurb and I wrote Christina Brown writes the truth about addiction and helping those struggling with it therapy and other drugs is captivating from the first sentence and brings Brown's real life experience to the page brilliantly this book is phenomenal Christina Brown is a therapist and a mental health counselor and she talks all about her patients like counselor with them and addiction and just gives a good inside scoop of a bunch of it here's the synopsis therapy and other drugs provides a first-hand look at mental health substance abuse and healing from the therapist's perspective readers will experience the raw emotions of working in the field of addiction from relapse and overdose to sobriety and survival author christina brown explores the intersection between familial and professional experiences mental health and substance abuse readers will gain understanding on how therapists have to simultaneously balance between taking care of others, prioritizing their own mental health. Stories of loss, heartbreak, and the perseverance of those struggling are highlighted throughout this eye-opening memoir. It's a great read, even if you're not wanting to get it because I reviewed it. And I'm so excited for this one. Thank you, Christina, for giving me this opportunity and for sending me this gifted copy. I will be purchasing other copies, and my mom has also said she will be purchasing a copy. <laughs> Done with the book mail for today, the last two weeks of January. The first book for today is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is a very very popular book and rightly so. I read this book for the bookish book club where we talked about it. It is a historical fiction and I know I'm not a huge historical fiction fan so I was a little deterred by it and it's a little bit thicker but it's absolutely beautiful. As you read it you feel like you're watching a movie, you feel like you're there, you know the characters, so well done. It follows two sisters during World War II in France. They're separated, they both have different political views and ways of going about how to handle the war and people intruding on their small town and coming into their home is phenomenal. I don't want to give away too much because it was such a good book. I really hope you pick up The Nightingale. It is in the process of becoming a movie. It's supposed to come out last December and it didn't so hopefully it does come out this year and I'm very excited for it. It was a great read. I hope you'll pick up The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Next was Hello Stranger by Katherine Zenter. I got this one on NetGalley so thank you to the publisher for this gifted copy. I adored Hello Stranger. It is not my favorite Katherine Zenter book but it was so well written. She always keeps a captivating story and there's more to it than just romance or the rom-com aspect. It follows a young girl who's kind of lost in her world and trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life with work, friends, family, and then she ends up getting into an accident. Her recovery is not like a normal recovery. She goes through amnesia, can't identify people, and she just has a hard time getting back on her feet after it. Throughout this process, it is a romance, so you kind of get an idea of what's going to happen. But it was really well written. It was I said captivating. I enjoyed it. I felt like each of the characters were my own friends. It had two really good reads back to back between The Nightingale and Hello Stranger. Next on audio from Libro Form is Scattered Showers by Rainbow Rorwell. And this book is a series of short stories and each of them was better than the next, honestly. It's about love, friendship, being in different times of your life. I just really loved it. I'm not too big into short stories, but this one was so good and I just really enjoyed it. It was really fun. I Each story 
story had its own theme that didn't feel repetitive or anything and it was very enjoyable. It was a nice easy audiobook or read. <laughs> Next was From Scratch, which was a beautiful memoir about love and Italy, food, being famous. It was so good. It is now a movie on Netflix. I highly recommend either reading the story or watching the movie. I'm hoping to watch the movie this week. But From Scratch just was heart wrenching and was really well written. I know I'm not giving too much away about these books this week, but I loved each of them for their own reasons and I hope you'll like them too. From Scratch I did on audio. It was a pretty easy audio book. I really enjoyed it. I hope if you pick it up that you enjoy it as well. Then after From Scratch on Kindle, I read What Have We Done by Alex Finley. And man, this, they do a great job with their books, Alex Finley. And then you get to slowly know their secrets, what's going on with each of them, what happened back then and what's happening now. It's just the way Alex Finley writes the plots is they come together so beautifully. It's like, I can never find plot holes with their book. Alex Finley also has great characters. It's fast paced, it's thrilling. I highly recommend any Alex Finley book, but I really enjoyed What Have We Done? And then last but not least is Finley Donovan number three, which is Finley Donovan Jumps the Gun. I think this might be my new favorite Finley Donovan. These books are a little ridiculous. They're comedy, rom-com, thriller, they're a woman is like murdering people, she has kids, she has a nanny that helps her, and there's all a little bit of everything. She has an ex-husband who's involved in some ways while she's trying to date and be a present day best-selling author. It's phenomenally done. This Finley Donovan, she's currently dating someone in the police force. So you follow her doing research for her book while trying to hide her behind the scenes crimes. <laughs> and it's fun, ridiculous read. You have to go into it knowing they're a little out there far-fetched if you really want to enjoy it. But yes, those are my last six books for the month of January. I'm excited to start sharing my February reads with you guys. It is still February. I have about another day of February and I'm hoping to film those. And then this Thursday, I will have a video of a Daisy Jones and the Six recap because Daisy Jones and the Show is coming out on Amazon Prime on Friday. And I think that will be perfect timing. I did a reread of it. That way you don't have to. And I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You're doing well and you have a great day. Bye.